Now, with Singapore starting its national COVID-19 vaccination exercise today, Prime Minister Lee Sen Lung said in a Facebook post that it marks a new chapter in the fight against the pandemic and the vaccine will be key to living in a COVID-19 world. Multimedia correspondent Yosem Jo has more on how the vaccine rollout will work. Rolling up a sleeve, applying an alcohol swab, and finally, the jab. Just like that, Singapore kick-started its national COVID-19 vaccination program this morning on December 30th. Three healthcare workers at the National Centre for Infectious Diseases, or NCID, were the first to receive the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. Among them was senior staff nurse Mohamed Ferdows, who currently looks after COVID-19 patients in the intensive care unit. You give me a better assurance because I have, I have small children at home. Uh, it gives me assurance that I can come home safely after nursing those COVID positive patients uh, and to play with my kids uh, without feeling any fear that I will pass something to them. The initial part when the nurse was injecting me, right, it was just a small um, sharp pain. But after that, you are tolerable with the, the rest of it. I, actually, when people are talking to me around, I, I don't feel the pain at all. Yeah. So I will encourage everyone to take the, the step la, to go for the shot. Especially the frontliners, yeah. Feeling lucky that we have received, I've received the vaccine. Feeling thankful and also slightly emotional that I think the vaccine is potentially a game changer. Together with all our masks and physical distancing and all. It has been a long journey for us to reach here. Vaccines managed to bring pandemic uh, down to uh, their knees before. So I'm hopeful that this vaccine will do the same. The temperature control vaccine was removed from the fridge and administered about an hour later after reaching room temperature. Once opened, the vaccine vial must be discarded after six hours. About 30 NCID staff were in line for the injection on Wednesday. Vaccine recipients will have their personal particulars and medical history checked before the jab. After the injection, they will be observed for 30 minutes to ensure that they have tolerated the vaccine well. They will also receive a vaccination card with information about their next vaccination appointment. This vaccine is given in two doses, 21 days apart. Health Minister Gan Kim Yong described Singapore's vaccination program as an important milestone and key strategy in tackling the pandemic. If more Singaporeans are vaccinated, it will provide better protection for the whole society. And if all of us are vaccinated, then Singapore as a country can then be protected against this infection. And this will allow us to also progressively restore our community and economic activities uh, to normalcy as quickly as possible. Uh, I hope that we will not become complacent just because the number of cases are low today. Uh, as you know, we have seen uh, many uh, new waves of infection popping up in other parts of the world, different regions, different countries are experiencing new waves of infection. And Singapore is not immune either at this point in time. And we, are always, we must always be prepared that there will be new waves on, of infection. I always tell my colleagues that the, the next uh, outbreak is just one infection away. Singapore is the first country in Asia to obtain the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine, which has been administered in other countries such as Britain, Canada and the United States. More healthcare institutions here will receive the vaccine in the coming weeks. Elderly persons aged 70 and above will be the next to get inoculated from February, followed by Singaporeans and long-term residents who are medically eligible. Yo Sam Jo for The Straits Times.